Hello and welcome to another Unity C Sharp tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about variables and data types. We have learned a lot about them. So in this video we're going to learn about this start function and this update function. So functions are basically something that does some tasks which are written inside them. So it takes uh, some tasks and it does that whenever we want it to do that. So here we are talking about this start function and this update function. So you can see that we have two a pair of braces and this is the function body inside which we write all of our code that we want the function to do. So what this start function is what the start function does is it gets called whenever this script gets called for the very first time. So here as you can see we have actually attached this script to this game object which is inside this scene so whenever we run our game this script gets called which is a part of this game object so whenever this script gets called this start function gets called the very first time so it gets it gets called only once okay if you want the start function to get called more than one time by default it gets called only once okay that is when the script gets started. So if we write debug dot oh shit. If we write debug dot log and inside it pass in start. So whenever we will run our game, whenever we will run our game this in start will automatically get printed since this start function is getting called at the very first time let's go and pause it and what this update function does is it gets called in each and every frame so it gets called again and again and again each and every frame unity renders whatever you write whatever you have in your scene unity renders it each and every frame and if you change something it gets changed as an example suppose a ball is falling from top to bottom so what is happening is the position of the ball is getting updated and that thing is getting changed inside the screen that is why you were actually seeing the ball falling so that is actually happening uh, update is like that so update is getting called whenever um, the new frame gets called so in, in each and every frame this update function gets called so you can use the update function if you want to use something if you want to do something again and again and again each and every frame suppose I want to print debug.log and inside that I'm gonna print in update so what will happen is this thing will run again and again and again so this in update will get printed again and again and again so if I go and run it now as you can see this in start has getting is getting called only once that is why you can see one here that means it has been called only once but this in update it is getting called again and again and again so as you can see it is getting updated that means it is getting called more and more time if I go and clear it you can see it starts again but in start gets removed because it is not getting printed again okay so what is happening is whatever is inside this update function will get called each and every frame again and again and again and whatever is inside this start function would get called only once so this is it for this video. I hope you guys learned something, learned about our certain date function. So thank you very very much for watching and have a great day. See you in the next video. Thanks.